Okay, so this video is going to show you how to download um, basically a replay of an event from ESPN's website using Streamlink. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm at the main ESPN.com slash watch page. Also you can get there by going to just watch ESPN.com or also ESPN360.com should um, <clears throat> redirect you as well. And click on schedules and replays. Now I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try to download uh, something that aired on ESPN3. So I'm just going to select that from the filter. Notice there's currently nothing live. That's fine. So I'll click on the replay tab. Nothing that's already aired this morning. So I'm going to go back a day. All right, and now I'm going to pick uh, one of these basketball games uh, to download. So just before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to make sure that I have uh, command prompt open and I've already navigated to the directory where Streamlink is located which for me is in, on my C drive, program files, x86, then streamlink slash bin. And I've also got a notepad open, and I've got the, the basically the main streamlink command that I'm going to use to download it up here at the top, and I'm just going to have to, I'm going to copy and paste the URL where it says the here, and then once I do that, then copy and paste that whole thing over in the command prompt to start basically the downloading and saving. Okay. And just one more thing before we get started, I'm going to go to three dots in Chrome, go to more tools, then go to developer tools, and I'm on the network tab. I also uh, have M3U8 typed up here kind of in like the filter box so that when the program loads and starts playing, only the M3U8 files uh, are going to show because that's what I want to copy and paste into the Streamlink command in order to start the download. Otherwise you just get lists and lists of hundred extraneous files you know that you don't need and you have to spend time trying to find the correct one. Okay, so let's just pick, I don't know, the Pelicans versus the Timberwolves. So now it loads up and then eventually it'll start playing and this first link is actually the one we want even though you're going to see there's probably several more that show up here but in general the ones that start with content-dtci.uplink.com those are the URLs that you want to use um, for ESPN events when you're trying to download them and so now I pasted it into you know notepad into the streamlink uh, command line and now I'm going to go over to the command prompt and just right click and it will paste it. And then I hit enter and, and then Okay, so for whatever reason, it didn't recognize the, you know, the URL initially when I pasted it. You can see, you know, that it, it gave an error. If it allows me to scroll up at all, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't look like it does. But I just pasted it again, and now it's going ahead and downloading. And because this is a replay of an event. You know, it'll obviously go, it goes much faster than, say, a live event where you're limited to the actual, you know, resolution that the event's being streamed at. So it's downloading the best quality, which is 720p, and you can see that it's going, um, you know, rather fast, about 10 megabytes, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 megabits uh, per second, a little bit less than that, actually. And so now we're just going to let it download, and of course, this video that you're watching, I'm going to have trimmed out the time, so you don't have to just sit here and watch the entire thing download, um, you know, in full. So I'm obviously going to cut to the end in the video. Okay, so now that the video has uh, downloaded in full, I'm just going to go ahead and stop it from playing. And I'm also going to run the ffmpeg command in order to convert it to an MKV, just so that you can watch it um, <clears throat> and also edit it if needed. So uh, first, I'm going to, in the command prompt, navigate to the directory where FF, ffmpeg is installed, and that's under the same under the streaming directory, but then the ffmpeg directory inside there. And then also, I'm going to copy the um, 
line that I have in my notepad file, which basically just says to take the, the, the TS file that I just created and <clears throat> basically copy the codec over and convert it into an MKV. So then I'll run that. And now this is going to take a little while to process. Don't worry about these errors that occur. Those basically are happening because ESPN inserts uh, these commercials, you know, into the replays. And the commercials they insert generally have a different frame rate than, uh, or like, uh, not frame rate, but a different uh, resolution, like size, than the the main program itself. So don't worry about those errors. When you go back to play back the file, you'll see that there won't be any problem. Okay, it's now done. So the last thing to do is just to go ahead, go to the directory where FFmpeg is. <clears throat> and now I'm going to open and play the file just to make sure that we got the entire event New Orleans versus Minnesota. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the file. It'll open in uh, VLC Player. Notice that again, there's these commercials that they insert, uh, which is kind of annoying. But if I jump ahead, you know, we can see the start of the file here. Looks like the whole thing is about one hour and 43 minutes long. And let me just turn the volume on for it so you can hear the volume. Just confirm that the audio came through without any issues. Into right. 90 seconds left audio. in this first half. Coming through on the video. DeLeo wow. puts it on the deck, back to right. Two on the shot clock. Marshall will try it. Now we're going to turn that off. And just to skip ahead to confirm that we got the whole entire event. And yes, it looks like we did. There's the ending of it. And, you know, whatever broadcaster talk at the end. And it looks like it actually, whatever. Oh, it has highlights from whatever other events. Okay. So that's a video uh, just showing you how you can download a replay of an event from ESPN's website using Streamlink. And um, usually the ESPN website, you can go back about four weeks or like a, roughly a month. So, you know, you can go back that far to typically get events that have aired um, in the past. Future videos are going to show how to, again, other videos are going to show how to download uh, live events from ESPN. There's one on live events from Fox.com to get Fox channels. Um, also going to show video, also a video with YouTube DL and also um, how to um, use Streamlink on just other, you know, non-sports channel websites like PBS or PBS Kids.